No, that was um. I forgot his. I forget his name. My name is Jerry Kier. I'm the director of the Great Basin Institute at the University of Nevada, Reno. And this is our first uh, in a series of field courses designed to support watershed modeling and inventorying for the Costa Rican National Park System. Uh, this week we're establishing fixed transects with monitoring points to determine primary productivity, density distribution, and structure of the mangrove system here in what is known as the uh, Matapalo River. Uh, hi, I'm Roberto Cordero. I'm a professor at the Universidad Nacional de Costa Rica and my expertise is in plant ecophysiology and now entering into the description of the vegetation ecosystem level too in other places, not in mangroves. And in this case here I'm collaborating with the course and trying to interpret and to set up some experiments for the long-term monitoring of the productivity and ecosystem uh, characteristics of the mangroves in this area of Playa Grande. This methodology is a uh, um, is uh, one, one of the ways used in mesh, trying to approximate productivity. So this is an est uh, a very rough estimation of the actual uh, carbon gain of the entire ecosystem by measuring the amount of mater dead material falling down into this area. I'm Brad Monsma. I am professor of English at CSU Channel Islands. Day one was kind of a cluster, right? Everybody's learning methods and uh, getting comfortable moving around in this kind of dense stuff. There's some mud and so on, but today we just dropped them off, said here's our transect, lay it out, get the data, and so people are working. It's, it's just great. That's kind of that transformative field experience that this program is about. Do you have the angle gauge? Yeah. You good? Okay, this is, uh, yeah. this is 10, so whatever you yes. get to the end of this. It is? All right. Sweet. The cloud forest, let's say that per year we have approximately 4,025, no, I mean 4,000 cubic millimeters of water, which is uh, a lot of water, but not, not all this water it is coming here as a precipitation. Let's say that approximately 50% of the water that we have, it will come as a very big foggy condition, cloudy thing right through the forest. This environment in is, is special and unique because the global warming is affecting us so much. Theoretically, because of the global warming already, those, that noise is a parakeet, a couple of them. It goes. Theoretically, the global warming, um, it makes the two amphibians from here disappear, which is the... Hi, my name is Hector and I'm a student at Cal State Channel. My major is business and it actually feels good to be volunteering here at the Monteverde National Park because I'm sure it's going to make a difference.
Hello, my name's Chris Castles. I'm a co-director of the ARA project and I've been working here for 10 years. Um, I'm from New Zealand and I'm a captive wild animal specialist and this is a pretty cool job. This is a non-profit organisation that rescues and rehabilitates great green and scarlet macaws and we reproduce them in captivity and release all the babies. So for example, these are all the babies that we've bred over the last eight years and they're all going to be going to our release site in the South Caribbean in May this year. Now the project is the pod first project in the world to actually breed and release the great green macaws. There are less than a thousand left in existence in the wild. So they are critically endangered and they probably will go extinct if nothing's done soon. We've released 20 so far and 17 are doing really well over two years. And they're just amazing creatures. They're super social, highly intelligent. Now the scarlet macaws are also critically endangered as well and we're releasing them on the Pacific coast. Um, it was really great having you guys come and help today, it was fantastic, we really appreciate it. And if everybody can spread the word that would be magic. My name is Don Rodriguez. I'm a professor of environmental science and resource management at Cal State University Channel Islands. Um, we see this as a great opportunity for collaboration um, and starting an active monitoring program here in Costa Rica for Ramsar wetlands, um, internationally important wetlands. Hello everybody, I'm Ivan Sandoval. I've been faculty of UNA. University of uh, National University of Costa Rica for almost 10 years. So we invite you to come to Costa Rica and do research with us.